And if you made it this far in the video, you are about to be rewarded because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a clip here in, in just a second of Aaron uh, from Aaron's Lean Mean Academy. We have built a pressure washing business course. Within the course, we have about a 20 minute video where I'm following Aaron around with a camera and a job that he's doing and he's walking us through every single step of the job. What is up everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. In today's video, we're going to be talking about three pieces of equipment that changed my pressure washing business from a time effective standpoint as well as an efficiency standpoint. Um, these three pieces of equipment were absolute game changers for me and I would say that they could definitely be game changers for you if you're going from a very beginner stage into an intermediate stage in your business. So for all beginners, this can be very helpful. Probably a video that I needed to watch as soon as I started my YouTube channel. But these are all things that I learned over the course of that time. Um, and before I get into that, I do want to mention that I will have a can cleaning seminar that's going to be coming out within the next week. It's going to be featured within our free sales mini module, which I will link in the first link in the comment section and the description. When you sign up for the free sales mini module, you'll get seven free videos, which include black sheeping, blowing the symmetry, easiest people to work for, how to qualify prospects, why specialize, how to differentiate yourself, and what should your closing percentage be. So go ahead and click through, sign up, and you'll get first access into the can cleaning seminar. Basically, with this can cleaning stuff, um, it's a great entry level thing to get into. I'm going to be discussing price, chemicals, equipment that I use, as well as some marketing tactics and how to justify um, the price that we're going to be asking. So, if you guys are interested in that, be sure to hit the first link in the comment section in the description. Go sign up, and I will let you guys know when the can cleaning seminar is live in there. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the first piece of equipment that was really a game changer for me, and that is going to be my surface cleaner. As you guys know, I'll link all my equipment in the comment section and the description. So check out the BE 20 inch surface cleaner. Um, I wish I had more flow rate to actually push this thing because unfortunately right now I have a four gallon a minute. Now I will say that if you do not have at least four gallons a minute, um, this surface cleaner is not going to be as effective for you. Um, it will still work. I know people that use probably a two five or a three GPM and still use this service cleaner but honestly i just think it's too big it's probably too big for me as well i've had a couple guys ask me what i recommend going down to a 16 inch and that would probably be the case i don't know um the exact specifications on how many how much flow rate to how many inches your service cleaner needs to be all i know is that with the 20 inch i'm not able to push it to its max capabilities because i'm not able to um, max out the flow rate on it so with the 20 inch, I would highly recommend for anybody who's got like an A GPM, um, anything above a four for sure. If you do have a four GPM, I still would recommend the 20 inch. However, the 16 would probably be a little bit more effective. Um, basically, if you have a lower flow rate, you're just going to have to go a little bit slower with it. Why this is on the list is because I remember when I was using the Home Depot low service cleaners, um, the tips were always getting clogged on them. I was always having to fix things that were just very unreliable. I'd be in the middle of a job. And I'd have to go out and buy a new one. And each time you buy one, it's like 120 bucks. Um, I believe the BE service cleaner is probably around three or four hundred dollars. Um, and so I would highly recommend that if you have a lower GPM, I would just say go with a smaller um, size service cleaner. So another thing that I want to mention is Whisper Wash is also a good choice. I know guys who have had a, tr a ton of success using the Whisper Washes. Um, stepping up from the small service cleaner, like I said, it's going to make a huge difference as well as casters versus no casters i get this a lot on the channel because the links that i use within the descriptions are to the be service cleaner without the casters i don't think it, it makes a huge difference but then again i don't know because i haven't used it without the casters however i have used a ton of the smaller service cleaners without casters and i can tell you that there's really not a huge difference so casters without casters it really doesn't matter i would say just get one because i know the whisper washes i'm pretty sure those don't even come with casters so Either way, I think you're good. Um, if you want to get the exact same one as me, BE 20 inch service cleaner with the casters on it. So with that being said, service cleaner, a quality service cleaner is going to be the number one thing that really kind of changed my business and allowed me to knock out some of these jobs much faster because the time compounds over time. So even if this is only saving you 30 minutes on a three hour job, that 30 minutes over the course of 10 jobs is 300 minutes, right? And I don't know what that converts into as far as divided by 60, but you guys can do the math on that. Um, it compounds to even save just a little bit of time. And so the next one that I get into is going to save you some time as well. And that is the X jet. Uh, for those of you who have been following the channel for a long time, you guys know that I didn't even used to use chemicals. Whenever I first started posting videos on YouTube, um, I was kind of just testing things out and uh, I saw people getting views of pressure washing videos and I was pressure washing at the time. And I figured, Hey, you know what? I might as well just start 
posting up some videos. It was kind of embarrassing at the time because I would go to customer's house and a lot of the times I wouldn't know what chemicals to put on the house in order to make whatever was on there disappear. Um, so unfortunately it was really trial and error period for me. I tried to use pressure to take off a lot of the stains and stuff that were on there and it didn't work. So thank goodness that I stumbled across YouTube and, um, I had some really rude people in the comment section that pushed me to learn more. I appreciate you guys. And now we use an X jet and the chemicals we are able to put out with the X jet is tremendous and it's time effective and it saves us time and it does all the above. So um, the first benefit of the X-Jet is easy chemical X application. And for those of you who don't know what X-Jet is, basically it's a tip um, that goes on the end of your pressure washing gun. It's got a hose that extends into about a five-gallon bucket. Within the five-gallon bucket, you have a mixture of chemicals, typically sodium hypochlorite, some type of surfactant, as well as water in there, um, diluted dependent upon whatever it is that you are applying the chemical to. And then basically the hose that goes into the bucket pulls the chemical into um, the tip of the gun it mixes in with the water like i said depending on the ratio you're using depending on your proportioner so there's a little bit of a learning curve with the x-jet but i know a ton of guys who have some good videos on it on youtube um, as well as you can get some good chemical ratio charts to kind of figure out which chemical application and which ratio is going to be best for you so the x-jet is the best for applying chemical in my opinion if you don't have a downstreamer downstreamers work well as well but i think that those need to be replaced more often just my opinion. Um, maybe if I was better at upkeeping them, they would last longer, but I just prefer the X jet. Um, and because you can adjust the pressure, you can get up higher, you can do a bunch of cool things with it. So the biggest thing about the X jet was no more pump sprayer. Uh, as you guys know, I used to run around with the pump sprayer, applying chemical to houses. Once I kind of figured out the chemical was the answer to some of these problems that I was having, I don't have to use the pump sprayer, at least not as much. Sometimes if I just have a small spot that needs to be hit or if it's something that very manageable i'm not going to break out the x jet mix up a five gallon bucket of chemical if just the pump sprayer will do and the last thing i want to mention on the x jet the mix is the hardest part of the equation basically so uh, once you kind of get your mix down once you kind of figure out what you need to be applying uh what ratio that you need to be applying uh, it gets a lot easier from there so like i said check out some of the people on youtube i think mr billy has a a video where he runs through it as well as uh, my buddy kyle mcguire has a video where he kind of teaches people about the X jet. So those are probably two good sources that I would recommend. The last and final piece of equipment that really kind of changed the game for me is a ball valve. And if you made it this far in the video, you are about to be rewarded because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a clip here in, in just a second of Aaron uh, from Aaron's Lean Mean Academy. We have built a pressure washing business course. Within the course, we have about a 20 minute video where I'm following Aaron around with the camera and a job that he's doing and he's walking us through every single step of the job. I'm going to show you guys a short clip from that about how Aaron uses his ball valve because it's kind of sneaky and uh, it's really good the way that he uses it. But one of the biggest benefits of the ball valve, at least for me, is I can switch between my surface cleaner and the wand effectively without having to turn everything off. When you do get a bigger surface cleaner, like I was mentioned before, you will need to shut off the water flow in order to switch from your pressure washing gun um, to your service cleaner. So the ball valve makes it incredibly easy as well as you can also rinse things with it. And like I'm going to show you guys here in just a second, Aaron actually uses it to wash things. So without further ado, check out this little clip from inside of the course. If, if you're watching these videos, watch my hand and how I'm adjusting the pressure constantly with this guy, this knob right here. Right. I finish my bit, I'm going to go to the shutter. And I'm going to rip that shutter. I release pressure. Now when I come back to brick, I'm getting my pressure Go to the shutter. Or the window. Right? You want to be gentler on that. You can adjust this all with your thumb. It's very subtle. But this is like your Jedi lightsaber right here. All right, so I actually didn't get clearance from Aaron on that one. So if you guys could, just don't tell him anything. <laughs> uh, hopefully he doesn't mind. I don't think he will. But anyway, um, that was a clip from inside the local domination course. Um, the last thing that I want to mention is, just as Aaron mentioned, it's good for rinsing. And you can even wash with it, kind of how he does. He washes some brick with it. He does some different things. And he's able to change the pressure by using the ball valve so he can wash uh, different surfaces with uh, the same thing. Because with a gun, you'd have to change tips. Uh, it's a lengthier process and kind of how Aaron showed there. 
it's just a little hack. So anyway, that is uh, the conclusion of the video. Like I said, what you guys just saw was a clip from the 0-7K to pressure washing business course. If you guys want to, there will be a link in the comment section in the description. You can go check that out. Also, be sure to enter into the free sales mini module if you are interested in the can cleaning as you will get first access to the little webinar I'm going to do answering all your can cleaning questions. Um, my name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below. That ending was crazy. We're going to see if we can't make some people watch farther in the video. Um, if you do that, I'll greatly appreciate you, man. I see all you guys who comment the word of the day. I'm always hard in comments. I'm always hashtagging you a real one. I really appreciate you guys. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. Until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.